It's all that still. So it's really cool. Press wow. Button at the front, bring Camo back the counting top. barrel. Yeah. When's this coming out? Hey guys, we're back. We've been looking around at Australian Toy Fair 2018. Oh, what's the next one? I forgot what it's called, but the clear guy. Evader. Evader. Yes, the new Modulus Recon yeah. Evader. Yeah. Next up we have the Evader, which forms yeah. part of the Ghost Ops system, so pretty cool. Uh, the transparent um, casing, so you can actually see the mechanism, similar to what we do in the Doomlands range. That so, guy was cool. That's what I'm personally most looking forward to. You got a strife, you got like a, a lighting kit through it, which I didn't know it actually had. I wasn't aware of the yeah. lighting loop until we saw it. So it's got three it. triggers, a light trigger, a rev trigger, and a push trigger. It's all about stealth. So it's really cool. Press his wow. button at the front. So what does the uh, FEP... Like? It just means it's an early production oh, sample. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's just for, for us to know that it's not final product. It's looking pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So you yeah, have the ability to light up, so yeah. as your yeah. opponents approach you, you can take that off and then go into full stealth mode and <laughs> be, be, be hidden as you will. Yeah. Uh, motorized, single fire, 12 dart clip, um, and your classic sort of modulus capabilities with the ability to take off your barrel, add stocks and tactical rails for attachments. You know, the potential for modding there, like replacing that light loop with Dude, LYR. I know everyone's going to be mad because it's um, side feeding. I think the it's fact, not bad. I don't think it's too bad. Oh, maybe, I don't I think it'll look cool on it'll camera. Be, it's easy first to do. person sh yeah. footage. But I think people are going to love that blaster because yeah. you can show off your mods. Oh yeah, you can see like, you everything. Don't, you don't have to paint it. You can see, you'll be able to see your custom cage, your custom wheels, your custom motors. Good thing like we make colored motors. And yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> so now we we gave used to give Adrian shit about having colored wires to match his paint jobs and that. See, now, now, I was forward thinking. Yeah. yeah now it's going to actually be relevant. You'll have. Oh, oh Yumi! Thanks, oh, man. Thanks, oh, Yumi. Thank you. My old friend Yumi's here and she's bought us treats. Oh, yeah. When I first looked at her, your mind automatically goes back to what you know, right? Yeah. So you see the clear shell and you think, oh, this is going to feel like a clear recon. It doesn't. It's different plastic. It feels sturdier. Much sturdier. There's more screw ports, but they're well placed so that they're hidden behind structure. They're not just randomly placed everywhere looking I noticed that straight away. Also, I was worried about the thumb hole that it would be for a child in the foregrip. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to take that foregrip off. But then when I held it in person, it's plenty for even my chubby hands. It all fit perfectly. It was ergonomic. And my favorite part of it, are we talking about the accessories? Yes, yet? we'll talk about the accessories in this video. It comes with a muzzle attachment point, which will fit any Nerf standard muzzle attachment point. That is an ammo counter mm. and crony. As part of the Evader system we've got two accessories. Yep. So you've got the reflective targeting set, so essentially placing the laser on the top of the blaster there and then doing a bit of target practice. Cool. Then you've got the round count barrel which counts um, the rounds that come out and then putting Hammer them back in. Ammo counting as well. barrel yeah. and a chronograph. Yeah. Yep. So when's it, this coming out? So this is the second half, so September. <laughs> I want that now, bad. <laughs> that will be extremely, if I had to guesstimate, that would be extremely popular. That's sick. <laughs> so cool. I think they're going to retail $15 US. But what I did clarify with him is that they will be released at the same time. Yeah. And for all you Australians, September. It's going to be such a long wait. I know that's going to turn a lot of people off the side loading, but I think it's fine. I'd say give it a go. Yeah. You keep buying all these kits for your strife just so that you can put a full grip on it. Yeah, exactly. This one already comes with a full grip. And it's compact. It's little, it's nice. The grip was like man-sized. You know, I've noticed Nerf lately, with the exception of one or two blasters, their grips have been getting nicer and nicer. It felt way better than that sort of um, jet, the mega jet plastic line. or any of those third-party oh, yeah, plastics. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, well, work is pretty good. Work I, is I like... good, but that's that frosted deal, right? That oh, frosted. Right. Yeah, yeah. Frosted. This is, didn't feel like a recon, which is all I wanted. So there was no creaking, anything. The shape was awesome. I was immediately picturing it with L wire running through it. Yeah, that's right. You can yeah. get braided L wire yeah. too. It's the Tron blaster of choice. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, what's his name? Is it Franken Nerf? No. Who's the guy who does the really nice rit dyes, the really saturated reds? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was our thoughts and opinions of first impression of the Nerf Modulus Recon Evader. Stay tuned for more of our Australian Toy Fair 2018 coverage. Uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
That's amazing. That's a bit like even a like Christmas cake. Like Christmas cake? Yeah, we've got lots of snow in it. I'm Jewish, so I love Christmas cake. Oh, yes, I forgot about that, yeah.